Okay, so you've got a bunch of photos, a bunch of stock photos that you want to upload to the agencies. Um, hopefully you'll have cleaned any dust spots from the sky, any um, nasties from the image, any litter, uh, cracks, that kind of thing. Anything that kind of detracts it away from being a great stock image. You've also got the colors right. You've hopefully, if you want to, if you want to go royalty free, you've deleted any of the um, tags or logos from any clothing or shoes or tires or um, boats. You know, any um, anything identifiable you've got rid of using Photoshop or or Lightroom, and the photos are pretty much ready to go. And you'll have also to save yourself a lot of time. Hopefully, put in the title, description, and keywords embedded into the photo using either Photoshop or Lightroom or something similar. That way you basically save yourself a lot of time later on by keying in the same old keywords on every single agency. If they're embedded, all of the agencies now auto-populate uh, the keywords and descriptions and everything once you've uploaded. So all you need to do now is upload them. We're going to start with Shutterstock, but these are the images I'm going to be uploading. Um, I've got a few kind of landscapey type shots. I've got one that needs a model release. Um, I've got one here that is going to go editorial because I've got people in it, sorry, and this one as well, there's people in that one as well, so that one's going to go editorial. It's far too much work for me to get a model release from everyone or erase all their faces, it's just not worth it, so you put this one as editorial. This one is going as editorial, uh, sorry, is going as royalty free, but I've actually eliminated any distinguishing marks from, from the boat and everything. It just means someone can add their own um, logos and things on there. Um, so and hopefully it will get accepted so these are the 10 I'm going to be uploading um, I'm not sure whether they're going to get accepted or rejected but I've cleaned them as much as I can so all we need to do now is actually to upload them to the agency so you can see here on Shutterstock, we'll start with Shutterstock um, all, we, all you do to get to this page is hover over the portfolio uh, link there and go to upload and you end up on this page now you can upload via FTP if you've got Coffee Cup or FileZilla or something um, you can upload hundreds of photos at a time. Uh, it's pretty quick as long as you've got a good internet connection um, Or you can just select multiple files here by clicking on that and then finding the file and uploading those Or you can literally do what I'm going to do is just drag them from another screen Bring all ten photos over and drag and drop them now Obviously our internet connection is not too bad But what I'm going to do is wait for those to upload and then start the video again Okay, so those have all uploaded now, so all we need to do is go down to the bottom and click the edit your content uh, button there and what this will do is take you through to all the photos <clears throat> and you can see here the description and the keywords have all been uh, and the title has all been um, uploaded, they've all been populated by the EXIF data that you put into the images when you were actually in uh, Photoshop or Lightroom or anything. Um, so basically I won't go into the keywords and how to do all this now that comes in a later lesson but all we need to do at this stage is basically select the categories so you've got two categories you can select from um, you can either use both but if you can't think of a second category you only use the first one so you look here and you say okay this is a description of a place um, it's outdoors it's got people so you have to go through all of these and work out what you're actually going to use so there's no buildings or landmarks it's normally a parks and outdoor or people so I'd call that people for the first one and then we're going to call it could be travel but there's not a travel one here um, sports recreation da, 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 da. we're going to call parks and outdoor um, it's not an illustration or clip art watermark I don't want it in the center because I don't want it to be over those people there so I'm actually going to put it let's have a look down by 75 pixels so it'll be somewhere around here just below that that ledge um, nudity no editorial yes because there are people in the shot so that's the first one pretty much done quite easy you can see there with the description I've actually used 116 of 200 allowed words so I can actually add more if I want to and the same with the keywords sometimes with the keywords less is more if you've run out of ideas you don't want to be adding more just the keyword stuff so less is more and I learned that from my stock sometimes they only like six or eight keywords just the main ones but again we'll go into that a bit later on um, and again here we're going to go into category so there's a person in this one so we've got category we're going to call this our first one people second category not really sure what to call this uh, not a celebrity um, it's nothing medical or it's parks and outdoor we could always use outdoor again I suppose um, let's do that again uh, not to clip up watermark I'm going to put oh, I'm okay with it being in the center because it'll go quite right across this dark t-shirt uh, editorial no I've got a model release so I just click add 
and then I basically go through my saved releases and I've got Dylan Stubbs there, that's my son. Pre-populated, pre-uploaded, um, all you need to do if you haven't got any uploaded, just get them signed, again we're going to cover those a bit later on, upload new and upload the release then it'll appear here and then you can just apply that release to it and you can see there we've now got that model release applied. Um, the next one here it's going to be a an object or it's going to be a building so it's architecture building landmark there we go it's a, a lighthouse in Portland so it's a landmark uh, second category um, transportation vintage it could be vintage but it's not that old um, it's an object possibly uh, industrial healthcare no education celebrities with blah, blah, blah. can't really think of another one to put there because it's just you could use parks outdoor I suppose let's do that um, if you really can't think of a second category then obviously leave it blank uh, there's a watermark I'm gonna put down as far as possible it's not illustration or clip art it's not new to your R rated and it's not editorial so that's fine for that one um, then we've got a category here we've got basically architecture buildings and landmarks again because it's an old landmark now this one could be seen as vintage because it's so old um, it's religion now I'm gonna go with castle with religion because it, it's castle it's a religious era that kind of thing I suppose it could go there if I can't think of anything else um, was castle religious I'm not sure if it is um, I might just choose my favorite of parks and outdoor <laughs> uh, and all these stay the same uh, happy with that in fact I'll put the watermark down a little bit so it'll go hopefully over the houses there uh, all the rest can stay the same. This one's a bridge, so again it's going to be buildings and landmarks. Again, I'm going to put parks and outdoor because it's not really anything else. Uh, could be industrial, I suppose, but it's not really that, that way inclined. Um, I'm going to go with parks outdoor again, and then all the rest can stay the same. All pretty simple stuff. Now this one's to do with the weather, so I'm going to look at something else down here. Um, science, religion, parks outdoor, nature, there we go. Let's have nature first and then we're going to have parks and outdoor because there is actually a children's play park there and all the rest can stay the same um, there is a name on there the local restaurant so I'm not sure if it needs to go editorial or not I'm going to try and upload it as non-editorial and see what happens but if it gets rejected I can always add the editorial thing there and hopefully get it through um, another one of this so we've got a landmark again um, it's the same image as before buildings and landmark don't always upload um, the same photos same don't do 10 photos of a lighthouse you know two is probably the maximum I'd do uh, and then we're gonna go parks outdoor again and all the rest can stay the same another building so it's building landmark and parks outdoor in fact I'm business finance I might go for business because it's an office office building so we'll leave that as that all the rest can stay the same this won't go as editorial because I've cleared all the names away so we're gonna have something here transportation because it's a boat and then we're gonna have what else we got here uh, nature industrial holidays food and drink the fishing trawler I suppose I might try that one uh, yeah let's try it food and drink because it's a fishing trawler um, and I've mentioned fishing trawler there and fish fishing in there so that's cool uh, it doesn't need to be editorial that's good and then this one will go editorial because there's lots of people in it category will be parks and outdoor and possibly people um, or buildings landmarks um, I'm gonna go with people people's a popular subject and topic so uh, I'm gonna go with that one in fact I might change parks and outdoor to sports recreation because people are chilling out having a beer sitting outside so let's keep it at that one in fact let's put the first one as people and change this one to sports and recreation and we've got editorial so that's absolutely fine so all we need to do now is select all of these and select all up here uh, hopefully come on select all so they've all been selected now and then all we need to do is actually submit for review so we click on that and you can leave a, a note for the review if you want if you if you've got um, you're going to upload a model release or there's something that about the photos you want to come across like the focus point was the here or there because of the bouquet you wanted then you can obviously write it there but I'm gonna leave these now and just submit them for review and hopefully I can get them um, accepted or rejected in the next few days and I can give my results um, once I've done all the different agencies while that's going through um, I can't get to the page oh here we are uh, three right here we go submitted content three of your images have been submitted successfully 
um, seven contain errors so this is one of the things I like about Shutterstock rather than it going through and getting rejected they will actually tell you when there's been errors so if we click continue we got here the word Weymouth in the description field may be misspelled so it will suggest alternatives of Vermouth obviously they've never heard of Weymouth so it's absolutely fine so I'm going to leave that as it is I know Weymouth is absolutely fine it's a place name Corf obviously the, the guys in America don't understand that and the word Wareham um, so you know they're absolutely fine you don't have to change these they're just pointing out that these are words they've not heard of again we've got Weymouth Weymouth uh, oh restaurant I've spelt wrong that's good uh, restaurant here so I need to put a U in there so that could possibly get it uh, rejected and also Weymouth I've spelt wrong so now I've got to remember remember that I've got these wrong in the actual images themselves in the actual EXIF data embedded so if I upload all of these to all the websites all the agencies the spelling is going to be wrong on all of them so I'm going to make a note of these and go back and change them in the actual photos um, so the word gherkin is actually a word so I'm going to leave that Weymouth we've done flooded we're redundant and removed children's may be misspelled so let's just put that and leave it as kids uh, Weymouth that's fine 2012 I've done that because it was uh, where the Olympics were so I'm going to leave that as it is uh, colorful is spelt in the English way so that's fine Weymouth again is fine and Weymouth is fine Tintagel obviously not heard of so I'll leave that in there that's fine that's all of those are Tintagel that's okay Weymouth again and Weymouth again and keyword hard but maybe misspelled because it's the English way of spelling it so I'm going to leave all those as they are and I'm going to select all again and then submit for review and submit for review I could put in there things like Weymouth is an English word blah 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 hopefully they'll realize when they come to um, checking them out so there we go um, all been accepted uh, at this point and so we click continue now one thing I can point out quickly before we finish this video is if you go into portfolio upload um, you can actually go into here with keyword suggestions there's lots of things here to help you um, with your actual upload so if we go back to upload again um, you can actually go through to one of their pages that will actually help you with the whole process if we go to now read our guidelines you can see here they give you submission guidelines I'd recommend you read those it will tell you all the do's all the don'ts all the images they want the footage they want how you should submit them the categories and descriptions it goes through all of those so it's well worth going there and also you could receive warnings which could really sort of hurt your business so make sure you read through all of that but that's the easy way um, and quick way to upload to Shutterstock. I love their their whole system. It works really well, very quick and easy. Only if you put the keywords, description, and title in the EXIF data in the images. So that's that one. We're going to go on to one of the other agencies next. So we'll see you in the next video. Just as a quick addendum, I've just realised something and remembered something. Um, if you're ever unsure of what's happening with your photos, you can hover over the portfolio button up here and go to approval status of images or videos. This will tell you. Um, the status of your your batches you've uploaded and you can see here I've got the first batch that was accepted straight away and then the second one after we corrected everything that one's gone through as well so that will then tell you what batches you've got um, waiting approval um, and then you can go through to your approved photos and see what's in there so you can actually see all the batches you've um, previously um, submitted you can see I haven't submitted anything for since 2012 um, so it's quite a long time ago now but I'm still earning money from them so I do actually have about five or six thousand photos to upload so I've still got a long way to go but you can see I've got hundreds and thousands of images I've got about 1800 photos uploaded there at the moment but I've got so many more to up upload um, and then one of the good um, parts of Shutterstock is here if you go to rejected photos this will show you what's been rejected and um, if you click on the batch and you're always told why they were actually rejected so you can always go through those and, and learn from your mistakes as it were so yeah like I said if you ever need to know what's going on with your images just go through to approved status of images and hopefully in uh, a few hours or a couple of days these will all get accepted but I'll let you know which ones do and which ones don't from each agency uh, thanks again we'll see you on the next video